Hello and welcome to my Yu-Gi-Oh channel. Make sure to like the video if you enjoy it and don't forget to subscribe for more daily Yu-Gi-Oh content. Okay, so I will admit I was absolutely wrong when I said in the last video that that was it for Blazing Vortex because actually it seems we've got a brand new version and support for Skull Servant, an archetype which has not been supported in absolutely ages. It's something that's a bit of a fan favourite for a lot of people. Um, the whole idea of the archetype is uh, you pitch, you get rid of a load of Skull Servants. It's only a level 1 monster with 300 attack and 200 defence. You pitch them to the graveyard, you send your uh, Skull Lady of White or something like that. I think it's, that's its name. And some other cards um, to the graveyard. And then you've got something called King of the... Um, Skull Servants, which gains a thousand attack for each Skull Servant um, in your graveyard. All of these cards treat themselves as having Skull Servant in their name, either both on the field and the graveyard, or even just in the graveyard. Um, so you have had cases where people OTK with this random rogue, you know, Skull Servant deck. It's it's amazing that they're still actually supporting this. But... We'll have a have a see and see what I think about it. And this is my first reaction to it. This is White Baking, a level one dark attribute zombie effect monster with 300 attack and 200 defense. You can use the third effect uh, with this card's name only once per turn. One, this card's name becomes Skull Servant while in the graveyard. Two, if a level three or lower zombie monster you control would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can discard this card instead. And three, if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add two of these monsters with different names from your deck to your hand, then discard one. A Skull Servant and monster that specifically lists the card Skull Servant in its text, except White Baking. This makes that King of Skull Servants deck so much more consistent uh, for a few reasons. First, the first effect, um, you know, it, having the name Skull Servant while in the graveyard, it's a mandatory thing, it's how the deck operates regardless. The second part of the effect actually is quite good because in what you have to do with King of the Skull Servants is I think that's a level 3 if I if I remember correctly. Uh, normally if it gets destroyed, if it was to be um, destroyed by battle, what you would end up having to do is actually banish one of your Skull Servants which keeps it on the field, but it then loses a thousand attack. You're able to substitute that um, destruction effect with something with this level of protection um, from this card by discarding it. Of course, you're still susceptible to, you know, your opponent using Ash Blossom or something like that to shut this down. But this is actually something that adds that much more consistency to it. Uh, but my favorite effect isn't actually that. It's got to be the third effect. It's amazing. Um, when you have that protection effect, you're getting rid of this card, uh, which means this effect triggers straight off the second, which makes it that much more consistent. Being able to add two monsters to your hand and then discard one means your if your opponent goes to the point of trying to overrun their King of Skull Servants, um, you get rid of this and you get rid of another card. So you're saving yourself not only the attack point um, reduction, you're actually shoving another 2,000 attack points onto that monster. One, by this discard, and two, by discarding that following card. Um, I hope, and I'm hoping they're going to add some more support to it, because I think this is amazing. Just something so rogue and so different and so unusual that fans love. I personally love it. I've been playing the game uh, since the beginning, really, of Metal Raiders, um, not the very first set, I think that was the second set. Um, but I remember my positive experiences for the game, and definitely this is one of the favourite strategies of mine. I can see some people actually running this. Um, when we get back to non, uh, you know, social distancing events, when we go back to normal at some point, definitely people will be looking to pick this up. Uh, whatever you think of this card, please leave it down below. Have you always been a fan of the Skull Servants, or do you think eh, it's a one-off card? Don't don't get overexcited there, because you know it. Chances are there aren't going to be anything else in this pack. It's just a bit of a filler. 
Um, leave comments down below, like the video if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe for more of this amazing content.